I've been studying you seem UFOs. quite reserved tonight. What I've been studying UFOs. Did you know there are UFOs out here flying around unidentified? <laughs> This would be the place for him, Southern California. I'm serious. They sighted a bunch over Georgia. I've seen them at night. Uh, they have real photos of them, and the government and the people just completely seem like don't talk about it. But um, Mr. Harold Salkin of Washington, D.C., he's the head of the National UFO Bureau. Right. He brought me moving films. I actually have moving pictures of little saucers, of gray steel objects coming into pictures that people took. And I'm just surprised that don't about talk more about it. Something they can Another do. great insight into the fight game. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I read that. But did you read the thing last night on the, on the news? No. That some physicists said that what the people of Georgia might have seen were that there are, there are probably several thousand satellite objects no. going around no, the United States, around the Earth, and sometimes they disintegrate and they come back into space. Not 50 feet over the highway. Well, it could. It's got to land somewhere. No. They call it swamp gas and something they don't want. I don't know what it is, but I think I do. But uh, they actually, there are actual saucers and objects coming within our atmosphere and flying around, and people got pictures. Everybody sight the same thing in every city, the red and blue and green lights. But the people, the authorities completely brush it off as if to say we are mentally off. But I know <laughs> it's right because I've been seeing them. Well, why don't they land then, Muhammad? I mean, if, now, no, if they're intelligent know. people, why wouldn't they land and step out and say, hi there? <laughs> Or Gowan Ding, whatever they say. <laughs> you know, why wouldn't they make contact? Uh, they probably figure they can't get no sense out of the people here in this place. <laughs>